Should we talk about how, how, you, how you can easily find out how successful scams are? I would so, love to talk about that. Let's, how can we do that? You must, have, you must have had these, right? I don't know how often you go through your spam folder, but I'm always... Because I have a public email address that comes into my Gmail and the Gmail filter is pretty hot on spam. Like 99% of the time, it's amazing. But a lot of like, you know, business emails or mm. stuff that comes in for the first time as someone reaches me, it goes to my spam. So like every few days, I'll just whip through it and see if there's not something telling me that, you know, I need to buy the Agra pills or that I'm horribly in debt and or some Nigerian prince is coming to give me money, <laughs> all that stuff. There was a great scam recently that I was almost... Uh, this happened to my wife she got an email and it was it was uh, this was a new one to me it looked like it was sent from her Ooh. from her old email address which she hadn't accessed in ages to her new email address and i'm not sure how it worked maybe she was getting it for she was getting it forwarded to her gmail or something it doesn't matter but it looked like it the sender had broken into her old email account and i didn't realize that you could spoof something like that which i've since boned up on and found out that this is the case anyway super legit looking and it's like hey we've taken pictures of you um on your you know doing naughty activities on and i've got dozens of these maybe you've seen them as well like what you know you're looking at <laughs> dozens of pictures or does it, dozens of these spam <laughs> these no spam no no messages. well both man <laughs> uh, how's your audio looking are you spiking at all i just hear you a little hot uh, i'm no i, I don't doing okay i think i'm okay okay I'm, cool. I'm right. that's not I'm right what am i doing your mic two. discipline is spot on though today like last time i was editing it and you back were a and bit forward. yeah you were a bit back and forth but now i appreciate that i go. appreciate you get better like dude so many i work with no, I'm, now I'm going to be slamming people. I want. <laughs> be like, people. Yeah, that was that was a bit. That hot. was definitely a click. But I don't know. More people I've worked with in the past. People just don't learn quickly. I appreciate how quickly you learned how to become a podcaster and became really good at it over like three episodes. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, Look, my notes for myself were: talk less, talk quieter, talk slower. <laughs> well, you're doing a great job. Now get close to that mic. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I, I feel like I'm clicking about a bit. So, so uh, just hope. turn it down a little there, Ron. You're the Am first, I channel two? You're the first dial, big red knob at the top. Big red knob. Just turn that down a tiny bit. Hello. That should be better. Don't worry about That's it. That's much, much better. There okay, we go. Good. Good. Um, so, basically, you get these emails, mm. and within the email, it'll say like, "Hey, we've got pictures of you through your webcam while you're, you know, uh, polishing the rocket to some dirty websites." Um, that's a, the that's five a, knuckle shuffle. The five, the, dude. There are so many. Of so these. many. Um, pol- bashing the bishop is right. always a classic, and I like the alliteration. <laughs> um, isn't that that drinking game where you go rounds and you have to come up with words for masturbation and there, or phrases like that, and then when you when you're not when you haven't got one coming up, you have to drink. So yeah, drink, 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 drink. <laughs> Bashing the bishop. If there's not, there should be. That's that sounds great. <laughs> we should we should do that. Um, probably not on this show. So you get these things, and it says like, "Hey, you know, I'm going to send this to all of your contact lists. You can see I've broken into your email. So, you know, this is going to happen unless you send me like a thousand dollars with uh, with, uh, through Bitcoin." The cool thing about Bitcoin is it's like a public ledger, right? So mm-hmm. if if I wanted to transfer you money, no one knows it's Simon sending Sam money, but they know that it's, you know, Bitcoin wallet 12987x4 sending Bitcoin wallet 98F21 money. That's completely untraceable, isn't it? Pretty much in terms of like person to person. Yes, it's completely anonymous, but it's entirely traceable, Ooh. which is interesting, right? And... So what you can do is you can also look up someone's Bitcoin wallet. So you could go onto this website. Just load it up there. Um, uh, this it's one. the first one. It's the. Uh, oh, here we go. No, here load we go. the second link right can, there. The yeah, first we're gonna, one. We're gonna. Here we go. We're gonna click that link. Open that up and then zoom in because this is so small. I can't. I can't S- see anything. Sorry. Sorry. It's no, my, sorry. It's my owl vision. Um. Okay. Yeah. So. This, I, I didn't actually have one of these spam ones, so I just pulled this up from someone who did this last year. And uh, so you can see all of the transactions that have been made to the Bitcoin wallet that's trying to scam you. Uh-huh. So you can see how many people have got this email and have been suckered in on it. And this ran over, um, like, just a couple of days, and there were loads of transactions, people paying, like, tens of thousands of dollars in. We're in the wrong job. Well, I don't know. Yeah, dude, this you've got to become, like, a Russian job. hacker or, like, a spammer <laughs> or a scammer or whatever you want to call these guys spammer scammers um yeah so this is 
super effective. I just found it super interesting that you could go in, you can look at that Bitcoin wallet address, and you can see just how successful the scam that's targeting you is. Well, I find this truly surprising that this many people actually fell for the scam. Like this is it's really convincing, dude. I'm wondering if it's all older people, or is it because I, I'm I, I don't know if I'm in the I'm in the minority, but I'm one of those people that covers my camera. Like, oh it's, yeah, there's a sticker on there. There is a sticker there? right yeah, of on course. here. Yeah. <laughs> no one's gonna catch me bashing my bishop. No, no. <laughs> it's like I saw that Snowden movie. They spy on you all. The- Have you seen that? I've not. I've oh, not. dude, it's so intense and it's just so based. I before the Snowden leaks, if someone said to me the government's spying on you to the level that they were, you know, yeah, according nah. to, according to the Snowden leaks, I'd be like, you're crazy, you're paranoid. And now I'm like, oh no, they're definitely spying on you. Yeah, everyone's watching, but they don't care. Everyone's about watching this. and listening. That's. <laughs> But but no, I'm kind of wondering if this is like older generation or younger generation, or is it like what do we do we know what the what the demographic is? What's the well, the only one I was concerned about was when I saw it from my wife on my wife's computer, and she was like, "Is this legit?" And I was like, "Well, they don't have photos of you because that's just impossible." Um, but they do. It does seem like they've broken into your old email account, so she just went in and reset the password and whatever. But it's it's kind of we're a step further than you hackers this is oh yeah (laughs) i don't know it's a weird one um no no i I, yeah i I can understand why you'd worry but i mean how much how much is a bitcoin these days how much does it got seven thousand dollars god these guys are raking it in nah because they just ask for like a thousand dollars in bitcoin so they're not asking for a single bitcoin because i think there's got to be it wasn't even a thousand bucks it was like it was a few hundred because i think most people could probably stretch to a few hundred bucks yeah most people definitely can't stretch to seven grand well but here we go like total sent total received 3.350 so on so on so on bitcoin that's this was last year which i'm not sure what the price was but that was roughly 20 uh, 20 thousand that was crazy last year was that that wasn't the year before or was that the crash no, oh, the peak no, was, was the 20,000, oh, and now it's a seven just because I looked it up today. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, this guy made a bunch of money, and that was over two days, I think. So he made, what, at a minimum, 20 grand over 20 two grand, days? Yeah. Well, i got to say that spammers have, have taken a few steps forward, and like from. It's pretty legit, right? From right. I'm, I'm your Nigerian prince cousin, and you, you're set to inherit 50 million, 50 million yen, not yen. What, what, what do they have in Nigeria? I don't know. Um, I really don't, <laughs> don't know. know. That's not even just say not even Nigerian try. dollars. Nigerian dollar. Um, I don't know. Those those but those people still fell for and send money and and all of that stuff.